Snow White Short Bedtime Story. Hello, beloved readers. Today, I have an exciting story to share with you. I hope it brings you joy and excitement. Today, Luna have a book named Snow White Short Bedtime Story. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe to the Kid Channel for more stories. Thank you for reading. So, here we go. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there lived a young princess named Snow White. She was known throughout the kingdom for her beauty, her kindness, and her warm heart. Her hair was as black as night, and her skin was as fair as freshly fallen snow. Snow White's eyes sparkled like two precious sapphires, and her smile was as bright as the morning sun. Snow White's story began with her birth, which was celebrated with great joy by her parent, the king and queen. Her family loved her dearly, and the kingdom flourished under their rule. The royal gardens were filled with the most colorful and fragrant flowers, and the people were happy. The wicked queen had a magical mirror that could tell her who the fairest person in the kingdom was. For years she had admired herself in the mirror, believing she was the most beautiful. But one day, as Snow White grew into a beautiful young girl, the mirror declared that Snow White had surpassed her in beauty. Jealousy and anger overtook the wicked queen's heart, and she plotted to get rid of Snow White. She ordered her faithful huntsman to take the princess deep into the forest and never return. The huntsman, who was kind-hearted and could not bear to harm the young princess, took her far into the woods but let her go, leaving her to find her way. Alone and frightened, Snow White wandered through the dense forest. The trees seemed to reach out to her, their branches casting eerie shadows, and the rustling of leaves and the hooting of owls added to her unease. But as she walked deeper into the woods, she discovered a small cottage hidden among the trees. The cottage was so tiny and cute that it seemed to belong in a fairy tale. Snow White knocked on the door, and when there was no answer, she timidly entered. Inside, she found a cozy, messy little home. There were seven small beds, a table filled with half-eaten bowls of porridge, and an array of tiny chairs. The place looked like it belonged to seven little people. Snow White felt tired and hungry, so she decided to clean the cottage and prepare a meal for its inhabitants. She sang as she worked, and her voice was so sweet that it echoed through the woods. Meanwhile, the cottage's owners were not children, but seven dwarves who'd been living there for years. They were miners who spent their days digging for precious gems. When they returned home that evening, they were surprised to find their cottage neat and clean and a delicious-smelling meal waiting for them. Snow White was just as surprised as the dwarves. They all introduced themselves, and she explained her story how her wicked stepmother had tried to harm her, and how she had become lost in the wood. The dwarves felt sorry for Snow White and offered her a place to stay. She gladly accepted their kindness and soon became their friend. She helped with the cooking, cleaning, and tidying up, and the little cottage became a warm and happy home. The wicked queen, back at the palace, learned from her magic mirror that Snow White was still alive and living with the dwarves. Consumed by jealousy, she decided to take matters into her own hand. She would go to the cottage herself and get rid of Snow White once and for all. Dressed in a disguise, the queen arrived at the cottage and offered Snow White a beautiful, shiny red apple. She claimed it was a magic apple that would grant her deepest wish but the queen had poisoned the apple, and she knew Snow White would not be able to resist its beauty. Snow White took a bite of the apple, and immediately she fell into a deep, death-like sleep. 
The wicked queen left the cottage, believing her plan had succeeded. When the dwarves returned home, they were devastated to find Snow White lying so still. They mourned their dear friend. But as time passed, something magical happened. A prince who had heard of Snow White's beauty arrived at the cottage. He was captivated by her and, thinking her asleep, kissed her. The power of true love's kiss broke the curse, and Snow White awoke. She and the prince fell deeply in love, and they were married in a grand and joyful ceremony. The wicked queen who had caused so much suffering was banished from the kingdom forever. Snow White, now a queen herself, ruled with kindness and grace. She often visited the dwarves, who had become her dearest friends. The kingdom was filled with happiness and peace, and the tale of Snow White's kindness and bravery was told for generations to come. We have reached the end of the story. Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with Luna on Teep Kid Channel. Bye. I'll see you next time.